Hey guys and welcome back to the channel it's your boy TJ Burns and in this video I'm going to be showing you the different effects of speed versus acceleration in Mario Kart. So I'm using two different courses on this one and I'll be using for the high acceleration mode the buggy bud, the azul roller and the flower glider which is the main one I use online and we will be starting off with Yoshi circuit doing a solo race with the high acceleration version and then moving on to racing against the ghost with a high speed version. So let's get straight into it. Starting with Yoshi Circuit and the high acceleration version. I'm just going to show the last lap in this and show you how I drive. Trying to keep that racing line, making sure I'm really close to corners and trying not to waste too much space and taking shortcuts when I can. So I did the, the same shortcuts on each lap with the fast speed and the high acceleration modes and pretty much trying to drive the best I can in both cases to make sure it's as unbiased as possible. So as you can see here, driving pretty well, trying to get as much boost as I, I can and cutting the corner as much as I can being on the chicanes here on the side. So coming into the last and final corner and the time is two minutes two seconds 0.555 so obviously that's the first time i've done this race but as we can see here my first lap was actually quite slow so i jumped straight into the fast one just to see how i could fare against it and again show my last lap and i'll show the side by side overall uh, speeds at the end of this race but racing against the ghost there are times where i am in first place and once again trying to drive in a similar manner getting as much boost as I can but I actually found with this car because it has different handling um, different handling uh, bars or whatever I found it actually drifted differently so as you can see there I got um, a yellow drift on the ghost but only a blue drift on myself same in that scenario as well so as you can see a whole second slower and if we look at lap by lap you can see, apart from the first lap, we were slower on the other laps. So I thought, oh, maybe I can do a bit better than that. Let me try one more time with the high speed version. So again, using the boost to cut the corners and shortcuts where I can. And in this scenario, I'm actually in front of the ghost. In the high acceleration version I did earlier, I did actually crash into the railings when doing one drift. So I did I am going to try and do it one more time because I believe I could do much better than in the first lap where I did crash. But as you can see here, I think the drifting really does affect the uh, speed overall. I feel like on the straights, the high speed does catch the high acceleration car. But overall, just because I get less drift, I cannot catch the acceleration. Which uh, prompts a new question. Does handling affect the speed? Or does handling affect the amount of drifts you're doing? So I went back, used the high acceleration version, got a new record, which was two seconds faster, I believe. Yeah, so two seconds faster, look at that. 41 seconds, 39, 38, compared to 43, 40, and 39. And the high speed version was a, sec a whole second slower than that anyway. And then this made me think as well. So Yoshi Circuit obviously has quite a lot of corners in it. What if I used a track that had no corners in it and was all just about boosts and a straight line essentially? So what better place than Excite Bite Arena? So kicking off this one with the high acceleration version, again just showing the last lap. So no ghost here at the moment because I'm setting the data now. But trying to get as much boost as I can and just trying to drive in the exact same manner. So in this one I was just using the mushroom boost that they give kind of willy-nilly wherever possible to go over the um, little mud patches and stuff but overall tried to drive exactly the same so as you can see in this one doing quite uh, well to get as much boost as I can missing one or two but again with this one because it's such a long corner I feel like they both get pink boosts but finishing this race with a time of 157.929 and obviously this is a new record because this is me setting the ghost data. 40 seconds, 39 and 38. So moving on to the high speed version. So in this one, I'm actually showing you the stats. 
So I think it's the B uh, car, I can't remember exactly what it's called. But a lot of speed there, but not as much handling. So I've set a, a time of 157, almost 158 with the high acceleration version. And now we'll see how high speed fares on a purely straight track with just boosts. So I used the boost from the get-go there. And again, focusing just on the last lap. So already you can see I'm, I'm slower much further behind the ghost i think it is to do with the boosts i missed a couple there as well which did not help trying to drift as close to the corner as i can again not really getting a pink boost there so maybe handling does have an effect on this but you can see on this one the ghost is quite far ahead of me at least in the yoshi circuit i feel like it was achievable to beat by this one two seconds at least in front of me and as we can see here you know it doesn't end that great so finishing on the time of 201.455 so comparing that that's 40 seconds 39 and 40 so slower on every lap so i thought you know what maybe i can do better than that let me try one last time just to justify this see if i can beat it and on the last corner, you can see, I think it was, I was even slower on that one. Finishing with a time of 201.995. So there we have it. On Yoshi Circuit and Excite by Arena. The high acceleration set up with a medium character, which is Yoshi, was much, much better overall at getting the timers, uh, getting the timings down. And therefore, it's clear to see that acceleration is actually better than speed. And I also think handling does pay a part to this. So this will be something that we do explore in a future video. Because I'm pretty sure when drifting around the corners, it was affecting the drift you get in quite significantly, reducing that time. That last race was a four second gap, which is you know quite big. So, it's been your boy TJ Burns. If you've liked this video, slap a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. And I will see you in the future with more Mario Kart videos. Hope you enjoyed.